if if he if if people go to America's Digital Shield dot com, they will that you and you scroll down, you'll actually see a list of some of the many 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 elections that Google has rigged, and we know this beyond the shadow of any doubt. We know how now how to wow. factor Google out of an election and see what the results would have been. <laughs> and one of the elections that we list is the twenty twenty presidential election because in that election. Uh, Trump won only five out of the 13 swing states, which is why he lost in the Electoral College. When we factor Google out in 2020, uh, Trump would have won 11 of the 13 swing states Jeez. and easily won in the Electoral College. Moreover, we calculated that uh, Google shifted at least six million votes to Joe Biden, uh, wh whom I supported by the way although i re regret that yeah. uh <laughs> but the point is google shifted at least six million votes to joe biden and think about that by how many votes did joe biden win the popular vote well i think it was around seven million or so if you factor google out of that election the popular vote itself would have been virtually tied right that's how powerful Google and to a lesser extent, the other tech companies are yeah. there and, and people are just unaware. They're getting distracted by stuff which is much smaller scale, inherently competitive, uh, has little net effect, you know, and that's what the tech companies are of making us do. They're making us look over here, look over here. Yes. There's yeah, I, nothing uh, over here where we are. Look right. over the here. I, I, yes, I think it's multifaceted, but the single biggest contributing factor for sure is this. I mean, to give you an example, we've talked about this. Biggest election stream that's ever taken place on YouTube or any platform, 2020, we were removed by the midterms. They guaranteed it couldn't happen again. And from 17 million, and then it was the biggest stream off of YouTube, and we fully anticipate that to ha happen. Um, and actually, we'll probably be in touch because we have some boots on the ground and some access to data that we are building up in real time during election night. So we will be able to call states. A lot of people don't realize they basically get it from one news wire. If you go by Fox News, CNN, a couple of mainstream outlets uh, so that this can be tracked in real time. Uh, and uh, yes, I highly encourage people to go and check out this data. Uh, Where is the best place for people to go? Is, this, is it this uh, Amer America's Digital Shield? American Digital Shield. Well, if you want to see the system, this monitoring, you know, in in action, go to americasdigitalshield.com. And if you want to sponsor one of our field agents, unfortunately, we can't take volunteers because if we took volunteers, w which we've tried to in the past, Google sends us people, yes. <laughs> and then we get invalid data. <laughs> yes. So we, you know, so so if you want to if you want to sponsor one of our field agents, we call them. Go to America's Digital Shield. Just click on the sponsorships. Twenty-five bucks a month. That's all we pay these people, and they, these are real patriots. And by the way, they're politically balanced. They have to be politically balanced, so we have you know, court admissible data. And or if you just want to just check out the whole thing, the research, the monitoring, go to mygoogleresearch.com. And uh, by the way, we could easily get shut down. I just want to warn everyone. Oh, I know. You know we we we're doing. We're doing what Justice Brandeis recommended 100 years ago. He said sunlight is the best disinfectant. That's what we are. We're the sunlight. We're shining the light on these companies. We're building this enormous archive inc of incriminating data. And, uh, but we could easily get shut down and uh, either from lack of funds or just, uh, you know, electronic attacks. And of course. So we need people, we, we need people's help on this. We desperately need people's help. Uh, MyGoogleResearch.com, AmericasDigitalShield.com. And, 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 you know, look at that. I, I urge everyone to please look at that because you'll see the bias. That, that's, that's data updated every five minutes, 24 hours a day. And that's data coming from more than 15,000 registered voters in all 50 states, 24 hours a day. Google cannot identify these people. It's right. a very, very sophisticated tech system. And no laws or regulations are there to stop them. And even if someone did, through some miracle, pass a law, they would just ignore the law. That's of what course. they've done in Europe. Laws and regulations can easily be ignored. And by the way, without a monitoring system in place, you don't even know if, if there's any compliance. You have to have monitoring. That's the key right. to see what they're doing and to make them accountable. Well, I highly recommend that everybody